Hello, welcome back. Today's vlog is a bit different to the usual wedding vlogs. I wanted to take a chance to chat about my journey from complete beginner mountain biker eight years ago to where I am today as a sponsored rider. So I say sponsored rider because I'm not a professional rider. I work a full-time job each week and I do racing, vlogging, riding around this. So let's go back to eight years ago when I got my first mountain bike. So it was a Saracen Aerial 152, I think. The forks didn't work. I had maybe 120 mil of travel up front. It was a really heavy bike. Biking has come a long way in eight years. Uh, but I love this bike and it got me started. I used to, well, I met Thomas, uh, Wee Tam, who does the channel with me, and we both started at the same time. We were borrowing my brother's bike, his hardtail. We kept going out in it and thought, we need to get our own and, and give this mountain biking thing a go. So that's when we both got our first bikes. And yeah, it was, uh, it was fun. <laughs> it was, I crashed a lot. Whoa! Oh, okay. Whoa. My poor brother, as I can see now when I watch back some of the, the videos, had to endure a fair bit. Uh, he was out sort of coaching and Right, don't touch me. brakes. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> we didn't drive at the time, so all my riding was at spots I could get to by train. If you're familiar with them in Scotland, uh, Mogdok, Old Kilpatrick Hills, Canvas Barren, really good spots to, to develop riding and I never touched a trail centre actually until about six months down the line so all of my initial riding was done on natural trails and I think that helped give me a really good base. Obviously when you're starting learning to use the front brake is really difficult when things get a little bit steeper. As you can see I didn't, I didn't master this too well. Hello! I was really determined though and I just kept giving things a go. I think I had three or four attempts at this one section that I just couldn't get. <laughs> Nearly. Uh, and that determination definitely helped me progress uh, faster. Every flipping ride I was on, I was hitting the deck. I was on the floor. I liked to push my limits. I liked to give things a go. I went out with a really good bunch of uh, friends who were really supportive. We had a laugh and that's what it's all about. I was scared a lot of the time. You, you are scared because you don't know if you can get down stuff. You don't know if you can do the stuff that everyone else is doing. Uh, but I got on with it and I gave things a go. I crashed, I learned from it. I like to say learning is, uh, crashing is learning. Uh, and yeah, I just saw that progression. So that was sort of 2014, 2015. And then I started getting into the odd fun enduro race. Uh, did a fun enduro in Forfer. I uh, came joint first with my friend with the exact same time down to the millisecond and that was me sort of hooked on, on racing. I have a competitive side and uh, I, I really enjoyed uh, going against the clock. So did that sort of on and off, the odd fun enduro, kept riding until probably 2018 maybe. 2017-2018 and that's when I started doing more enduros. Some of the Tweed Love series, if you're familiar with it, King and Queen of the Hill. Uh, I started taking some podiums at races and it was, yeah, I got really hooked. Graithwaite in the mud, a totally savage experience. Uh, really, really good fun. I uh, thought I'd broken my leg. Thankfully I didn't. And things kind of developed from there. I started getting more into that racing side and I started riding a lot more often. I was down in Tweed Valley two, three times a week maybe in 2019 and that's when we really thought about moving down to the valley. So that was when we made that decision. We didn't make the move until later on. So 2018 
was also 2018-2019. That's when Thomas and I bought a camper van and that made, made us get out so much more all over Scotland. We were able to go away for the weekend and ride so many different places that we just hadn't really been to. And we got on some amazing holidays as well uh, over in Europe, driving through Austria, riding in Germany, riding in uh, Italy, and we had a blast. So my riding improved a lot being able to ride different types of terrain from dusty, loose rock to obviously the thick mud and wet routes we get in Scotland. The social media and vlogging for me started, pick well, let's say social media started picking up. I started posting more. I enjoyed sharing clips from rides and when COVID hit, I decided during lockdown that I was going to start a vlog. And I didn't have any goals really with this vlog. I just wanted to film some clips because I always had loads of fun on my bike and I wanted to share that fun with others. So that's when the vlog started. Uh, I set up a YouTube channel and yeah, I just started sharing my rides and doing what I would normally do on the bike, having fun, keeping it real. Uh, and that was, that was a big milestone uh, for me. And especially a big milestone that was yet to come with sponsors as well. So combined with vlogging, picking up, social media, racing a lot more, taking that seriously. I started getting um, some sponsors, uh, which again was, was, I think 2020 was probably when that really started getting going and that was a big, big year. October 2020, September, October 2020, about what, six months or so after starting the channel, uh, that was when I got uh, I got on board with Michelin Bicycle for my tyres. I loved the Wild Enduros, I'd done a review on them, I was riding them already and that's when I had the chance to, to work with Michelin. So I was really happy, uh, that was quite a, a moment, uh, a memorable moment for me. Started racing a lot more, putting a lot more focus on it and in, in 2021 I was able to, to do that season that I wanted to do, race, race as many races as I could. Uh, progress, use it as a learning experience and just see where, where it got to and in October 2021 that was when I raced my first Enduro World Series round so the EWS had a round in Tweed Valley uh, here in Scotland and it's October in Scotland so it was savage it was so wet it was so cold it was so windy couldn't feel my fingers for for half of it it was really sketchy <laughs> So it was an experience and a half, really long physical stages as well. But I was really happy where I placed in that. And off the back of that was when I got my uh, sponsor Wiggle for, uh, well, Vitus Bikes. And I got my awesome enduro rig, my racing green mullet. I absolutely love it. So yeah, I, I got approached by Vitus after that race and then we agreed um, for, I would start a sponsorship the following year. And that brings us to 2022. I'm continuing on. I've had Darko clothing again this year and continuing on with Darko again next year. Darko have, I've got a really soft spot because they have such amazing, colorful, bright clothing. And my first ever mountain bike, women's mountain bike jersey was Darko many years ago that I picked up at a Fort William World Cup. And that was a really big deal back then because women weren't, as represented in mountain biking, uh, very much a minority and therefore there just weren't many women's clothes out there in the market and quite often we'd end up in sort of baggy, ill-fitting men's clothes. So I was really happy to work with Darko and uh, work with him year on year and again in 2023. So 2022 was an awesome year. I did a lot of racing, I did the full Scottish series, and as I mentioned before, I managed to take the overall win in the women's category, which was an, a really big moment for me, and also did some Tweed Love events and some other races up in Aberdeenshire, and yeah, it was just really good, and a really good buzz, getting to know more people in the racing community as well. Uh, it's 
Scotland just has such a good scene. And then later this year, and started going into the off season, I started something else. And this has probably been the thing that's helped me the most with mountain biking and improving my performance on the bike and improving at races. And that is strength and conditioning, strength training. I did start strength training um, and gym work many years ago, maybe like three years ago or something when I started getting more into the racing and just doing it myself with uh, weights, uh, having my own workouts. But this year I started working with Ben, uh, who's also known as the Strength Factory Coach and his business is um, coaching people. So he has a whole range of, of plans uh, delivered through an app and it's been really good to get on board with that and have the training delivered to my phone. I've got a more structured workout. I did some tests at the start, so I know what I need to work on, in not just in terms of the strength, but in terms of mobility, which was pretty shocking. And I always give it, it's always an afterthought for me. Uh, so yeah, I've been, I've been using the app week on week, getting the, the workouts delivered there, watching the videos within the app, knowing what I'm doing and really targeting um, specific muscle groups that will help me with my riding. And it means that I'm not as tired on the descents, my arms aren't sore, if I do crash then I can come back from that quicker, my body won't take as, as much of a beating. So that is, that is a really important thing to me and I'm looking forward to stepping it up more next year as well and really making sure I'm in a good physical shape for, for the racing side. The fitter you are, the more fun it is. So that's where I am now. It's come a long way from eight years ago when I literally could not ride a bike. <laughs> the YouTube channel has just hit over 6,000 subscribers, which I just can't believe from where it started in this awful vlog in my bedroom. Uh, but all the work that's gone in over the last few years to, to just improve my editing, uh, get out and ride places, have fun, share it with you guys. I'm, I'm really happy with where that's at. It's great, as I said, to be working with the sponsors uh, and getting support for both the racing side and the vlogging side. And I am really looking forward to next year. For me next year, I'm going to be focusing on the British National Enduro Series. And they take around from uh, many series around the country and put it together to make usually four to six rounds uh, of racing. <laughs> So it's going all over the place in the UK, from right down the south to um, to Scotland, and I'm really excited for that. See what what the future holds. So hope you enjoyed the video. Tam bashing in the background. I don't know if you could hear that. So definitely time to wrap up. He's tiling upstairs. So yeah, hope you enjoyed it. Drop a like. Uh, hit hit the thumbs up button if you liked the video. Drop a comment. Let me know what you think. And catch you soon.